How's it going everyone? Another tutorial in 3ds Max. Today we're going to be making uh, this teapot explode. Um, actually there's three bullets that fly through this but I've hit them uh, just for aesthetic reasons. Um, but yeah I'll give you a, a quick look at what I did. So if I move the timeline along slowly, my computer lags a bit. Um, you can see we have impact. So it didn't take me that long to do this. Um, obviously the renders will with the with the amount of polys there are. Um, but if I go back, get some pretty cool effects. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So I'll restart and start from the beginning so that you can understand what I'm doing. And uh, yes. Okay, so we're in a new scene. Uh, what we need to do, obviously need a teapot, I'll click and drag one out, um, I'll keep it low poly so for the sake of this so that my computer doesn't mess up, um, so we have our teapot here, we need an object that goes through the teapot, i.e. like a bullet or a ball, um, so we'll go into our top view, make a sphere, and drag that out, and we'll go on the front view, and we'll lift the ball up so that the plan is that it'll fly through and break and um, so what we need to do is make a keyframe of this ball going through the through the teapot so press N keyframe click the ball fly it oh sorry no move keyframe to say 30 and then drag it along there you go, it's made a keyframe for you already, um, so we just need to turn that off, and we're good, we have our bullet or whatever flying through, maybe a cannonball in this case. Um, okay, we need a plane as well, so we'll turn to a 3D view, put it in perspective, plane, drag it out like so. Maybe just move it along a bit and scale it out so all the debris um, lands on this basically. That's what we want. So it needs to be quite big. Obviously, you can cut it out later on once you've um, baked it. Okay, so we have that. This is our scene set up. So now we need to use um, Rayfire, which you can get online. Just type in Rayfire free download um, and the year of your um, 3ds Max. And put it into your plugins and you should be fine. Um, so we've pressed that ray fire, press ray fire, open ray fire floater. I've got a demo thing, so I just use the demo. It has some restrictions like with the app, like with the amount of um, polygons and whatnot, but it's fine for this, it's good fun anyway. And um, so we have us set up here. What we need to do is add these to this, so our um, static objects such as the floor, um, so we need to pick an object, I'll turn off that, so pick a floor, add to static, done, so that's the floor in place, the sphere, which is also a kinetic object, so we add that as well, and for the uh, teapot, we add it to the dynamic impact object, for obvious reasons, um, add, when you, once it's added in here, we go to fragments and you choose how many fragments you want. For this, we'll just make it really. Uh, we'll just make it five just so I can show you so my computer doesn't mess up. So you can see instantly it's changed. And um, if I press F4, it's not working very well, but you see the outline of the, um, of the teapot. So it's broke up into pieces. So if we go into physics now, and you can see we have our preview, bake, pause and stop. Um, everything's set up in the scene now, apart from one thing. I go to objects, so these, these here are our um, fragments. So what you need to do is press menu and send to sleeping list. So now these will appear down here in the sleeping list. You can also change um, the type of material and how it breaks so if you want it to be like um, a glass where it shatters in a certain way you can choose all that 
for each of these. Um, but we'll just, for this, we'll just keep it as it is. It works fine. Let's go to physics. We'll go to preview. Hopefully my laptop can handle it. And then boom, you see it's broken up. Um, the top tip for me from this demo, it gets a bit buggy uh, sometimes. So what you need to do is just let it let it render out at its own time. Just leave it, don't cancel it or anything, just let it do its thing. Once it's finished, then it'll, you can restart it and it'll go back to normal. Otherwise, it won't let you edit things later on. So there you see, it's done. Um, so we'll take it back to the start. Um, obviously, you can fragment it again. If you select all these, fragment again. And you can keep doing that until you get as ha however many um, objects you want. Obviously, the more objects and polygons and that you have in your scene, the slower it'll take um, to render. Um, and obviously it'd be hard on your computer, but yeah, it just depends what you want to do. So now that we've done that, what you want to do is bake it so that this is like into the animation itself on the keyframes at the bottom, so that we won't be using the ray fire after it's baked. So that'll just take a minute. Just let it do its thing. Done. To reach the end, these are all your keyframes. So we can get rid of that now. And now, if we move, if we just click off that, if we move this, you can see how we can get everything to do what we want. We move back and forwards. Um, you can add another ball if you wanted uh, before you bake it and have more like impact objects. Just to spice things up a bit, but yeah, just depends what you want. Go to a top view, you can see how it breaks that. But yeah, it's really cool, cool, cool piece of software. It's, they have a lot of good fun with this for you, like say, crashing a, a spaceship into um, another spaceship or whatever you'd want to do. You can you can do all sorts. And um, but yeah, just thought I'd show you that quick tutorial. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck with your rendering, and I'll see you soon.